I'm gonna be making a homemade brooder for my little baby ducklings that have finished hatching. I'm gonna place this little guy in his new little home in three, two. Are you ready to meet your other siblings? What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. So what I'm gonna be doing in today's video is I'm gonna be making a homemade brooder for my little baby ducklings that have finished hatching. So before I actually hop into today's video, I wanna show you this mom bird that laid a nest on my porch. So guys, if you look right there, you can see the nest. Mom just flew out. She's been incubating the eggs for a couple days now. So I'm just not gonna disturb it, but I'm just gonna get a little overview of them. But guys, do you see the eggs right there? Those are the eggs of a red bulbul. So red bulbuls are actually invasive here in Florida. They are native to Asia, so they are not from here. But a little bit about the pair that has made the nest in there is that she has laid three eggs three times. Yeah, I know it's a lot. But she actually made her first nest right next to that one. And the babies were happy and healthy. One actually fell out of the nest and we put it back. Birds actually have a really bad sense of smell. So if you touch their baby and put it back in the nest, they will actually not reject the baby. So the babies outgrew the nest. They got too big. And one night, something got in the nest and ate the babies. Then she made another nest, laid three more eggs, and slowly and surely, the eggs disappeared. Now we thought she wasn't gonna come back but she laid three more eggs in the same nest. And she has been incubating them for a little bit, so hopefully these babies do hatch, and we are gonna watch her closely and supervise her so nothing happens to these babies. So now getting into today's video, the little baby ducklings have not finished drying, so they are still in the incubator, but we need to make the brooder ASAP. So since I'm making it here at home, we have everything we need, so let's get into it. All right guys, when making your homemade brooder, what I'm gonna use since I only have three little baby ducklings, well hopefully three, right now I have two for sure. So since they are just only two little baby ducklings, I'm gonna use something a little bit smaller. So you're gonna wanna use a, a little bucket like this, and it's gonna be perfect because these babies are really, really tiny. Obviously, they are not gonna grow up in this. Once they get big enough, I'm gonna switch them to a bigger enclosure. But if you have a lot more little chicks and ducklings than I do, you can obviously make a bigger brooder. What you could do is you can make it out of wood slabs and have it outside with some netting and a heating lamp. Now, I'm not gonna need a heating lamp in here because in my garage, it is pretty warm because as you can see, we have a lot of heating lamps already on. So it's gonna be pretty warm for these guys. So now once you have what you're going to put these little baby ducklings or chicklings in, now comes the bedding. So what I'm going to use is this bedding, which is clean, from my little baby rabbits. And it's all natural and perfect for laying down in the little brooder, and it's going to be perfect for these little babies. Now the bedding that I do not recommend would be setter shavings. Now that gives off toxic fumes, and we don't want that for these little babies because we don't want them to potentially die. Now other beddings that I do not recommend would be newspaper, paper towel, or puppy pads because all of those beddings could actually make their little legs slip, causing problems in the future called sprouted leg, and they can have problems once they are older. So those are the beddings that I would not recommend using in your new brooder with your little baby ducklings. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add this to the bottom of the brooder. So if you guys come over here and look, you're just gonna pour all of it in, and then now I'm gonna have to spread it out. Now. When you're spreading it out, you want to spread it out evenly so no crevice or cracks they fall into. Now there you go. Now that is perfect. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over and grab the little baby duckling out of the incubator because he is ready to be brought out to his new brooder. So I'm gonna place this little guy in his new little home in three, two, one there you go buddy oh you can see that he keeps on crawling oh buddy don't do that you're gonna hurt yourself and he keeps jumping up to me because he thinks that i am his mother when animals first come out of the egg or even when they open their eyes the first thing they see the one that is taking care of them they think that is the mother but just look how precious this guy is now you can see that his feathers fully dried out. Now you have to leave them in the incubator until the feathers are completely dry and he is nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna leave this little guy here and I'm gonna make some 
food for him. So now that I have the food right here and the water right here, you can see that I put some water in it and mashed it up so it's nice and soft for this little baby duckling to eat. But I used a non-medicated chick starter. Now you want to use non-medicated chick starter for these ducklings because when they eat so much and if it is medicated, it can actually poison them. So that's what I did. I mixed the non-medicated chick starter with some bird formula so she gets some extra nutrients. Now let's put it in here. I'm just gonna place it right here, get these little pieces out and that should be good to go. Now I'm gonna scoot a little area right here Take the water right here and put it right there. Now, typically, ducklings don't start to nibble on the food and get the hang of eating until 24 hours after they start hatching. Now, I'm just going to place this in here because if she decides to start nibbling and trying some food, well, then that's great. She's just going to be one step ahead of her siblings. And now, since you're done drying, little buddy, are you ready to meet your... Other sibling, look. I'm gonna add him to the brood. Three, two, whoa, 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 buddy. You were just overexcited. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look. Look at their brother. Or sister, I'm not really sure. Look, meet her. This little guy is like, get me out of here i have no idea what that thing is him too you guys all siblings come here well it's okay look you can see how he still has some drying to go you can see that his feathers are still a tad wet and you can kind of see his skin and this little guy is just the cutest little fluff ball ever now that i made their little breakfast this little guy is gonna go crazy and chomp all of it down but as for the one that just got out of the incubator it's okay buddy calm down i'm right here he is still full on that yolk sack so his older sibling is gonna show him how to eat this yummy food there you go buddy here's your breakfast oh yummy look your brother is eating okay he's like i just want out of here i don't know what this thing is it's okay buddy i got you i got you i got you i got you look i hold you just look at your brother he's he's eating so good oh oh is he gonna try some too just like his brother? Oh my goodness, guys. He's just like watching his brother like, oh my goodness. Now that is a great role model. Usually the mom would teach them how to eat and how to forage for food. But now, since this little guy is such a great eater, he is a great role model for his little sibling. And he is just watching over him. And he, he, might, he might get the hang of it right now. So guys, I just wanted to point out their little exit. Now I'll pick you up since you want to get out. Now guys, if you look right in the front of their beak, you can see that little speck right there. Let me try to get a better view. Come here, little guy. Look at the camera, buddy. See, right there on the front of their beak. And it almost, when he turns to the side, it almost comes to a point. Now that is their egg tooth. That is what they use to come out of the shell. Now I'm going to show you this other little guy right here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hi. So you can see their egg tooth is kind of rounding out. And as they get older and a couple days after they hatch, it actually will disappear and go away. That is not permanent. They only have that when they are hatching out of their shell. So guys, now that these little baby ducklings are happy and healthy in their new temporary home, since they can potentially jump out of this little bucket, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to take this lid and I'm gonna need to place it on top so they don't escape and they don't get into my garage and potentially get injured. And there you have it guys, their little home is now completed. 
Alright guys, if you enjoyed today's video with these cute little baby ducklings, I want you to give this video a big thumbs up. And now once you do that, I want you to stop what you're doing and comment down below a name for these two little ducklings. Now, I don't know whether they are a boy or a girl, so we're just going to say they both are boys. Now, I'm going to shout out whoever I choose in the next video with these cute little ducklings. So if you want to see if you guys are chosen, then subscribe to the first link down below.